vectors a, b and c are unit vectors. Therefore, their absolute values are equal to 1. Now note that the absolute value of vector a plus b plus c square is always greater than or equal to 0. This implies that the dot product of vector a plus b plus c with itself is always greater than or equal to 0. Opening up the left hand side, we get the absolute value of vector a square plus a dot b plus a dot c plus b dot a plus the absolute value of vector b square plus b dot c plus c dot a plus c dot b plus the absolute value of vector c square is greater than or equal to 0. This can be rewritten as absolute value of vector a square plus absolute value of vector b square plus absolute value of vector c square plus plus 2 times in brackets a dot b plus a dot c plus b dot c is greater than or equal to 0. Now since the absolute values of vectors a, b and c is equal to 1, therefore the first three terms add up to 3. And therefore the inequality can be written as 3 plus 2 times a dot b plus a dot c plus b dot c is greater than or equal to 0. This implies that minus 2 times in brackets a dot b plus a dot c plus b dot c is less than or equal to 3. Let's call this result 1. Now the given expression, the value of which is to be found, is equal to absolute value of a minus b square plus absolute value of b minus c square plus absolute value of c minus a square. This is equal to a minus b dot a minus b plus b minus c dot b minus c plus c minus a dot c minus a. This is equal to absolute value of vector a square minus 2 times a dot b plus absolute value of vector b square plus absolute value of vector b square minus 2 times b dot c plus absolute value of vector c square plus absolute value of c square minus 2 times a dot c plus absolute value of vector a square. This simplifies to 2 times in brackets absolute value of vector a square plus absolute value of vector b square plus absolute value of vector c square minus 2 times in brackets a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a. Now in the first term the expression in the square brackets is equal to 3 and therefore the given expression simplifies to 6 minus 2 times in brackets a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a. Now from result 1, the second term is less than or equal to 3 and therefore the given expression is less than or equal to 6 plus 3 which is equal to 9. Therefore to summarize, the square of the absolute value of vector a minus b plus the square of the absolute value of vector b minus c plus the square of the absolute value of vector c minus a is less than or equal to 9.